essentially, one of the best parts of life is sitting down and enjoying food. Every culture has that, you know. Here, I'm able to take my experience working in technology and bringing that in kind of a different new way back to people. I'm Kirsten Regal, and I'm a product owner at Ship Pixie. And what a product owner does is understands the business goals and understands the user's goals and then builds a technology platform and solution that helps everyone achieve what they want to do. I think we're speaking to a whole different generation of audience today. I don't look at newspapers anymore. I don't shuffle through coupons anymore. All those old ways, old fashioned ways of how a restaurant would speak to their customers is out the window. Every time I need to make a consumer decision, I, I go to my mobile device. So what we're building right now is a food ordering app for the Nacho Nukes brand. The main goal of that is to be able to really give this beautiful, very branded, very personal kind of experience within food ordering that then also incentivizes the user to hopefully want to order more and rewards them by being able to play a very interactive, fun game. My name is Brian. My goal is to humanize technology. So we didn't, we didn't just want it to be a food ordering app separated from a game component. We actually wanted to merge both of them and give the user a seamless experience throughout the whole app. My users shouldn't have to take a crash course or be educated on how to use a product. It should be intuitive. The user doesn't notice whether they're inside the ordering app ordering food or they're in the game component actually playing the game. One of the cooler features of the app is the game at the end of it. You place an order and then you get to play the game. But the exciting piece is it's not just a game that has no purpose. What we're really allowing people to do is the more that you play the game, the more points that you earn, and then on your following order, you'd be able to use these points that you've earned through the game in order to apply a discount on your order. So the more you engage with the brand, the more rewards you get. So our process begins with Ria. She's our graphic designer and user interface designer. She creates uh, these amazing and fun characters, uh, color palettes, assets, images, and so on. In the meantime, Amy, Kirsten, and I, we sit down and we talk about the MVPs of the product, meaning what are the necessities that this product will need in order to be successful at launch. Marlon, our 3D artist, he brings the characters that Ria has created into life by using 3D effects, motion, and lighting. Bruce, our software engineer, gets all of the assets that Marlon has created, whether it be uh, animated characters or obstacles, and implements them into the game components of the product. So I think in order for a restaurant brand to make sure that they have a on-brand digital experience for their customers, they need to make sure that their ordering process or the ordering experience that the customers um, have on the mobile device, all the way to the delivery staff that actually delivers their product to their customers, is carrying through their brand voice throughout the whole customer lifecycle. And the exciting thing too is I don't think anyone else is really approaching how do you interact with customers from a food level in this exact way. Our goal is to create a product that the user will have fun with, but most importantly, be rewarded while they're having fun with it. If a brand does not have ownership of their digital territory in today's market, that means that they're potentially losing contact with up to 80% of their customers. It's not just about the user experience. It's about business operations. It's about efficiency. It's about the delivery drivers being successful. How do we make every single person that goes into touching your food delivery experience, how do we make that a success?